welcome to episode 81 of Thank Top you. Row Reality right here on the YouTube. I'm Mike Hogan. And I'm just a car. And let's get started with ringside news and what a huge, we are breaking, Ooh. I mean, exciting Shh. news that has shooken, shook broke, destroyed the foundation of the WWE. It has. It has changed everything. You have any writings from now until WrestleMania? Ball it up. Throw it away. Throw it away because that's what they're doing because of why, Justin. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, Seth Rollins has been injured. He was in a match against Kane overseas on their European tour. Yes, Dublin, Ireland. Dublin, Ireland, ladies and gentlemen. And doing a simple backflip move. Backflip move, and apparently he tweaked it. They just said, oh, he tweaked his name. But ladies oh. and gentlemen, he got a torn ACL, MCL, and a meniscus. I mean, he, pretty much your knee is destroyed. But I had to give it up for, for Sam. He finished, he finished the match. And gave the pedigree on a bad knee. <laughs> Woo, sounds like shriveling. I guess you know you're saying, it's destroyed already. What more damage can I do to it? Exactly, but they said that it's causing the need to rewrite everything, and um, it means that a whole new Survivor Series, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. It means everything. We, we will be talking about that very soon. In part three, we'll go. We'll, we'll, we'll part three, we'll, we'll be talking about Seth. So. Our newest segment that we have replaced that was Countdown, since Which it's was now. Everybody's favorite. It's now. We'll talk about it. Yes. And we will talk about what it means for Seth Rollins to be injured, what it's going to do to the WWE, because they're saying he's out six to nine months. Yeah. Well, you, he's the probably earliest, missing WrestleMania. Yeah, he's missing. The earliest is he could probably show back up at SummerSlam. That's horrible. So no Triple That's H versus earliest. Seth Rollins. Not now. But ladies and gentlemen, the next thing is this is huge for in. NXT because there's a lot there's a lot of people that have left NXT a lot of people that are injured right now oh, yes. so who was the next big challenger we knew that Apollo Crews and Finn Balor yes good match but it was both a faces good match. they're both faces and we know that we hate face versus face so and I love, and I love the swerve happen? they gave me a good swerve they had, they had Baron, Baron Corbin, Corbin in come him. in Baron Corbin came in and he attacked both of them but he intentionally hit Apollo Crews First, then yes. he hit Finn Balor, then he went back to Apollo Crews, which means Apollo Crews won by disqualification. Yeah, but they, if you really think about it, they didn't, they didn't make an announcement. No, it's just but if a you no look contest, at it, yeah. he hit Finn, he hit Apollo Crews first, which means Finn, uh, Apollo Crews should still be in the title contention. Could it be a fatal four way? Could it be a what? Could it be? I mean, they, they should set up for a tag match at a later a later show. Yeah, at London, London should be two single. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, so Joe and Finn for the title, yes. and and then uh, Baron Corbin and Apollo Crews for the number one contender. There you go. And then if neither but one yeah, of those it, win, in between, I would set up a tag match. Yes. On the weekly but shows. if neither one of those win that number one contendership, you could throw in the oh, Fatal yes. Four Way yes, yes. because Samoa Joe turned his back on Finn Balor and the fans. He looked at he looked at <laughs> Finn Balor right before he hit the muscle muster and said, "I did this to you." Yes, he did. And you know what? It, it's all about business. It's not about friendship. It's it. about business. He's He said he wanted the title shot. William Regal would not give it to him. So he's making people notice him. He's yes. putting everybody on notice that it's his I mean, championship Finn was him. wanting Finn wanted to give him a title yes. shot. But Regal said, no, you have to do like everybody else in the Battle Royale. And then Tyler, Tyler Breeze cost him in the Battle Royale. There you go. Took care of Tyler Breeze. Tyler Breeze went to the main stage. Main stage. And now it's set up for Finn and Joe. Who? Which, won the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. I mean, it's, it just fits together. I mean, they're doing great writing next team. They are. And when they bring in more people, which a lot of people still they're going to start bringing in some more, I believe. Yeah, so, I mean, they've got, um, they just added, what, 19 more people to the to the training roster. Yes. And they've got plenty of people. I mean, if you see Rich Swan and, and Biff Bissick, Busick, whatever, has already been on, the, uh, on their little live event tours. And that's almost like developmental before development. Yes. It's like you're in developmental training, then you go to the live event tours, and then you go on NXT TV. So it looks good already for Biff and for Rich, but we will see what happens. And Bob Backlund. <laughs> Crazy Bob. Crazy Bob Backlund putting his name into things, talking about how Hogan should have been fired 30 years ago. Yes, you know, did you read why he said I this? did not read it because I was like, you know what, he's just crazy. What do you... Uh, uh, of what Hogan says, you know, what Jeff Sandwich says, take your vitamins, say your prayers. Of course. He said, since Hogan says that, he should live that. And since he tells children to do this and doesn't do it, that's why he should be fired. 
That's his main excuse of saying that Hogan should have been fired 30 years ago. Because he says one thing and does another. Uh, that's like saying <laughs> a Hill Undertaker who sacrificed Stone Cold didn't live it. And he yeah. didn't kill Stone Cold, so he ought to be fired for that. That's, yeah, I that's mean, Bob. It's, you're acting, though. Yeah, I know. It's acting. Now, back in the day, now, Bob, Bob, was... Bob didn't have to act. He crazy. I think Bob is a little crazy. It's a little weird. But uh, moving on from that, because he's crazy, is the return of a major tag team to a Raw on Monday. And they're, <sighs> I mean, they've I, already I, pulled the Dudleys out of the tag team title contention to put this tag team in there, and that is the Usos. Uh, I, I have mixed emotions about this. Why is that? Well, I mean, I, I, I believe the Dudleys taking on Barrett. And, and Sheamus yes. could be a very brutal tag team match. Yes. They can set up on the feud to the first of the year it between could. those two teams, and it could be brutal Brute. between all those four. But I don't like the Usos being shotgun right back to the No, I think they should have to build their way. But they're really not the number one contenders. It's the Lucha Dragons who are the number one contenders. There you go. So should they be. Should it be a triple threat coming to Survivor Series? I think they should have to beat a couple of the Harry teams. I mean, they have... I've looked at the lineup right now after all this happened with Seth. Yes. They have the women's match and the tournament. And that's it. All of the matches. There are no other matches. They definitely need tag team stuff. They should have tag team stuff. Don't, do not put the tag team people in the tournament. We'll talk about that in part three, though. Uh, up good. next, WWE will be allowing Alberto Del Rio to finish up with WWC. As ADR will face former WWC Universal Champion Ray Gonzalez in Puerto Rico for the WWC Mega Championship. Yeah, he should. He definitely go, should go back, drop the title. There's a lot of big, there's a lot of confusion with that. They're trying to say that WWE did not know he had other obligations, which is that that's pretty bogus. You know him. It's, not, got TN, it's up. not TNA here that doesn't look at somebody. They, they know. Thank you. They know he got booked up. Then they're saying the lawyer told his, his lawyer told WWE he had no other obligations. Come on, come on. None of this makes any sense. No. It sounds like to me that everybody knew everything. everything yes. Everybody knew that what was going on, and it was just, you know, let's just, <laughs> you know, it, it does look bad because I know they're saying that they don't want Del Rio to lose in Puerto Rico. They don't want Del Rio to lose. Who cares? Who cares? Yeah, that's. It's not gonna be shown I, I, on your program. I I think that's more of the people talking. About. Yeah. Probably so. You what you hope it don't matter about the loss. You just hope you don't get hurt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Now you're thinking. For goodness sakes, don't get hurt. That is true. So we well, have a string of, I mean... A uh, lot of injuries. I mean, John Cena's out. I know we're going to talk about this more later. But John yes. Cena being out, Brock Lesnar being gone right now, Randy Orton's injured. So much is going on. <laughs> it's time. It's time for people to step up. And we'll talk about that in part yes. three. Um, well, let's get, to, uh, let's get to the most part, the biggest part, biggest of, part, part. One of part one. Wrestle K News. Because it's coming up in a couple of weeks. It is coming up in a couple of weeks. Um... Of course, I can't remember all of the dates because I didn't write it down. But it is always the weekend after Thanksgiving. So we know that much. Right. The they very, very end of the month. That. Very end of the month. Um, the night before they had the showcase of WOW. That was frightening. Yes. That was frightening. Frightening. Ladies and gentlemen. The night before Russell K, they have the showcase of champions. Then this year they will be having... Uh, the Fan Fest, of course, right? Um, with matches going on during the Fan Fest. They will also be having a AML, America's Most Liked Wrestling, or, what, or Most Loved, whatever it is, which is the company that WrestleCade basically is. WrestleCade, and then they, they have their monthly promotion. So AML will be promoting their own, they're doing their own TV tapings at WrestleCade, plus you've got the, the WrestleCade matches. Right. All that stuff, which I don't know, hopefully this is all, um, what do you call it? November 28th. November 28th, okay. Sometimes they don't update that thing, it's ridiculous. But anyway, November the 28th, so November the 27th. Know, huh? No, the 28th is Saturday. Would that be right, or is it Sunday? Is it Friday and Saturday, or Saturday and Sunday? Yes, Friday and Saturday. 25 so, days, 6 hours, 56 minutes, and 55 seconds. Exactly. Okay. So you said 28th. The 28th, yes. November the 28th on Saturday, that will be Russell K. The day before will be Showcase of Champions. And you've got 
uh, Reality of Wrestling with Booker T. He, his company's going to be there. Of course, AML is going to be represented. Impact Wrestling. TNA will be represented. Uh, represented. I can't talk. But the WWE will not be. So. No, they will not be. Global Force Wrestling will be represented. All the former guys. <laughs> That's it. And on the Showcase of Champions, they'll have the Next Gen Championship. Sounds like alcohol. Anyway, yeah, the Next Gen Championship, uh, which is Global Force, it will be PJ Black defending his title against Sanjay Dutt at the Showcase of Champions. Do you Plus, saw a title change? Right. Okay. Could be. AML will be represented with the Heat Seekers taking on Buku Dao and Matt Lansky. Impact will be represented with the Wolves taking on, which I think they're defending their tag team titles, by the way. Wow. Taking on, because it said champions next to it, so there you go. Defending their tag team titles uh, against. Maybe not title. This might let you know the champions are there. Maybe, I don't know. Andrew and Eric Lockhart. Don't really know a lot about all them. But anyway, AML also represented here with a triple threat. For the AML Championship, Caprice Coleman taking on Greek God Papa Don and your your TNA wrestler represented in here, EC3. Almost a champion, but he's not the champion anymore. EC3. He's not the champion. There's no champion. There is no champion. This is the first time in history that both major promotions, one man holds the belts, and his name is Vacant. Look on the back. Look on there. That's true. It says vacant on both companies. That's true. Vacant is very busy, man. He is very busy. <laughs> and then reality. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> reality of wrestling. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it? That WWE follow TNA and something. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> on accident. But yeah. Thanks to our me. Exactly. Um, reality of wrestling. The champion Mysterious Q will be defending against Ryan Davidson. Then, ladies and gentlemen, you have in the Fan Fest, you have the Fan Fest Battle Royal, yep. the traditional Battle Royal, and then um, you will also have um, Colt Cabana taking on El Blanco Gordito. It sounds like something from Taco Bell. I know. Give me two El Blanco Gorditos. Gorditos. Yes. <laughs> um, also, um, King Shane Williams taking on Raphael King. So I uh, guarantee the king is going to win. A king will win the match. Also, um, no, uh, let's see, Mr. I did, Mr. Anderson. Now another TNA or independent uh, in in impact guy. I couldn't get it out there. <laughs> so Mr. Anderson taking on a global force guy in Chris Masters, Chris Adonis, Chris Mordetsky, whatever you want to say, ladies and gentlemen. Also, Gunner, former TNA guy, taking on. Uh, the man from Wildcat Sports, they be, they're also being represented. Uh, Luke Hawks, the man who runs that. Uh, plus John Morrison. Morrison. John Morrison taking on Sanjay Dutt. Which is very surprising to say John Morrison. They, that's how they put it up there. But it, on, on, when you know. look at his just his picture, uh -huh. it says John Hennigan, formerly John Morrison. Okay. But in the match lineup, it says John Morrison versus Sanjay Dutt. Then he's going to sue you. They are. Anyway. They are, because you can't use that unless they have given they you the right to use it again. And the only reason they give you a right to use it again is if you're coming back. What? C.W. So Anderson. So let's pay close attention Very close to, attention to that. that. Yes. Sanjay. Not Sanjay. See, you messed me up now. Back to Sanjay again? Son, back to Sanjay. <laughs> you messed me up. Who's C taking on P.J. Black? We know no. that. Okay. <laughs> That's on that's on the first night. Yes. That's, but then the second night, that's Morrison versus Sanjay Dutt. Then you got C.W. Anderson with Steve Carino taking on two called Scorpio. Oh my lord. Then of course the second annual George South Invitational Battle Royal, and that was a who's who of people in that very battle royal. That very battle royal. Yeah, and then uh, there, there was way too many. I know Blue. I saw Blue Mini on, on the <laughs> wow. screen. I saw Blue Mini. I mean, how they have twenty-two people. I think it was I think it was twenty for the no. The fan fest is thirty battle oil uh -huh. and twenty I think for the for the uh, No weird numbers in No. Twenty for the four and a half George South one. Battle Royal. I saw Blue Me, I saw Bobby Fulton's in it as usual. A lot of people probably from the from the uh, Oh from the fan fest. A lot of the older guys are in the George South invitation. Who come in and get uh, hit just top barely top. thrown over there, yeah. Um and then what the match I'm looking forward to, the match of the night, I believe for Russell Cade will be Shelton Benjamin taking on PJ Black and Matt Seidel in a triple threat. 
So you've got. Have you do the whole time? Oh yeah, we've already announced that before. But anyway, well, you just do the extra fix that because you said match tonight. I was thinking <gasps> the world title match. No, that's the Fat match. Fat Hardy world. taking on Jeff Jarrett. Jeff Jarrett, yes. In the first time ever matchup, they never wrestled in a singles match against. But after that, look out. They be everywhere. When they get that in the books, it'll be headlining a Global Force show in Las Vegas. Exactly. But Shelton Benjamin. Which isn't a bad thing. This is three former WWE guys, but you got one from Global Force, which is PJ Black. Matt Seidel from Ring of Honor. And Shelton Benjamin, who wrestles mainly in Japan. Until that, he gets the call back. Exactly. That is a huge triple threat. Of oh, course, yes. of course and, the WrestleCade okay title being defended with Matt Hardy the same and Shelton. I mean, they both Jeff have the, about the same wrestling skills. Yes, I mean, that's going to be a great match. Yeah, that triple threat's going to be huge. Um, but to update, um, right, talk to our your hands. But uh, I will go over all the names of the people like the week before. Okay. Because we have a couple of weeks beforehand. But updated people is SoCal Val, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, because oh. I can't remember if I said those people. Jeff Hardy, Katarina, who was Maxine in WWE, who is now in Lucha Underground, which is coming back for season two. DDP, Robbie E., Jimmy Hart, Rob Terry, Tully Blanchard, Angelina Love. I got a picture with her last year. Yeah. Yes, J.J. Dillon, Karen Jarrett. How's Jeff? Because Jeff will be there as well. Terry Reynolds will ah. be there. Sweet Stan Lane will be there. That's a good one. O.D.B. Jason Kincaid, okay. who is his big name on the indies. Uh, Buff Bagwell will be there. Very cool guy. He can make it. Him. He'll be there. He may have other. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. Hey, you know he's Looks coming out with. He's coming out with a. Um, DVD with him and Nigel, uh, and Nigel McGinnis is interviewing him, and it's like a half-shoot interview, half-documentary. So right. it's going to be kind of cool. It's JR's fault. That's right, it is. There you go. <laughs> That's what Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> Bobby Fulton will be there. Don't piss off JR. Make the old man mad. That's right. Gary Michael Capetta, the ring announcer from WCW. And, of course, they saved the mask for last! Because I think they're probably going to add nobody else, I hope. I wouldn't think they would. they got to... You got like three pages Ooh, of names here, for you. goodness sakes. So. One, two, three, four rows of names. Four rows, row, rows of names. That's a on lot a names. college ruled paper. That's a lot of people. Woo. That's a lot of people. And the very last one, Garrett Bischoff. Hey, Garrett Bischoff. Yep. Get your tickets now. They also got, they got a good Bischoff. deal. I saw, I saw on, uh, I think it was Russell's Zone, had a good deal they had up there. Because you get like autographs and this and this and this for like 65 bucks, I think it was. I'm not surprised. I know they both have. Night, I think it's both nights, and you get autographs. And so I thought that's yeah, there's really certain VIP deal. guys. You automatically, if you if you purchase a certain ticket, you automatically get VIP. Um, I'll look that up during the break, and then I'll let you know in part two. But I, I, that's a, that's a guy that if you want to go, that's well worth the money and what you get. I mean, that's a sign, pretty good deal. Oh yeah, it's huge, a huge day. Um, I know last year I didn't get to go to the night before. They were doing a Jim Cornette roast, which was very hilarious, apparently. Oh. Um, but this time, this time, this drink. Oh yeah, exactly. on people. This time it was the showcase of champions, which I think is gonna be really good. Yeah. And then an AML. Well, you change it up on Saturday. You, I mean, you got you got the showcase of champions. You got an AML wrestling television taping. Um, you've got the fan fest with all the old timers plus the fan fest matches. Plus the WrestleCade matches on the very, that night, yeah, huge, oh yeah, tons of stuff. You can't beat the value. I mean, if there's still tickets out there, you definitely need to get them, and you need to get them quick because yes. it's a great show to go to. I thoroughly enjoyed. Myself. And plus, like I saw on that on the, on the website, there it is for toys for Christmas and stuff. So oh yeah, they definitely I work mean, with the toys for tots people oh, and yes. stuff like that uh, to to help so out you the get local to help, community. You have to help out the local community. You get to see wrestlers. Uh, Coming up and already past their prime. Yes. Um, so I mean, and matches, and I mean, it's, it's well worth the money. Oh yes. So. Absolutely. Well, that is it for part, part one, one ringside news. We write what everybody's new favorite pay per view review it. Survivor Series. Oh one, oh two, oh three, oh four, oh five. <laughs> but don't jinx it. It's so everybody's that. favorite. Look at the numbers. Oh, huh? we're looking at the numbers, and the numbers don't lie. Well, that may be a little shaky this past week, man, how it was put on. So. It did look a little shaky. I was noticing that. But we will be back, and hopefully you will watch part number two. Well, we'll see y'all, y'all, in a few clicks. Right here at Top Rope Reality on YouTube.